The diagnosis comes as a huge relief on an otherwise good news day for the Swans. With a host of key players still injured or being managed through the preseason, and no guarantees that Lance Franklin or Daniel Menzel will be fit to face the Bulldogs, the last thing Longmire needed was another one of his big guns to go down. Heaney finished with 12 disposals, 6 tackles and kicked a goal in the third term as Sydney ran out convincing 19.9-123 to 11.1581 winners. Pushing for round one, Sydney drafting Nick Blakey. Credit. Up drafting Nick Blakey continued his push for a round one debut with two goals. Luke Parker had a day out with three goals and 24 touches, while Josh Kennedy, 30 disposals, and Tom Pupley, 26 disposals, one goal, were also handy contributors. There were two late scratchings to the team originally named by Longmire with Jake Lloyd withdrawing due to illness and Callum Sinclair rested. Sinclair's absence meant key defender Alla Alla was thrown into the ruck for almost the entire game. While Alla was soundly beaten by Jarrard Witts in terms of hitouts, 64-19, the Swans actually dominated centre clearances, 20-18. Alla's work on the ground was excellent, finishing with five clearances from his 19 disposals. Loading, we've used him in there a little bit at times, not often, and he's done a pretty good job. He gave us some real contest around the centre bounce but also some real spring and run and carry, Longmire said. With veterans Jared McVeigh, Heath Grundy and Zach Jones all suiting up for their first competitive outings of the year, the Swans. We're determined to make a fast start, having been overwhelmed by the GWS Giants early in last week's JLT series opener. They did exactly that, kicking the first four goals of the match to open up a 25-point lead. Gold Coast reeled in the deficit, all the way back to level the scores at the first change with five of the next six goals. But Sydney grabbed back the ascendancy, helped in no small part by a pair of howling errors. From Suns defender Charlie Ballard, which directly led to goals for Sam Reid and Blakey. From there, they blew the contest wide open, piling on nine goals to two in the second quarter. The margin was 42 points at half-time, with the Swans having scored 14.589, more than what they managed in 16 full games last season. We've still got some things to work on but it was good to get some quality minutes in, Longmire said.